What's a memory on your mind um, or a moment that you had with him? Thousands. I mean, I can't even, like, it's almost hard to pick one out. I mean, there's so many memories rushing through my head. No pun intended. Let's come back to that one. <laughs> well, um, and, um, I mean, there's many stories that, that Mike and me lived through. One of the probably funniest for the people watching was uh, the time he went to sleep in my tent. Mike is a person who called. When I go to see Paula Poundstone, a comedian uh, at the Tampa Improv, Mike's a guy I call for comedic advice on that person. He is, he is my, uh, he's my drama guy. I went to a Paula Poundstone uh, comedy show, and Mike told me that it's going to be full of people like Paula Poundstone, and she's a gay woman, and there wouldn't be a big turnout, and he was 100% correct. The curtain was half pulled, and it was all lesbians in there. And that really is a memory that I will always hold about him, because I remember calling Spiv like, you know. I had just bought all this new camping gear, and we were on Shell Island. <laughs> I was really proud of my tent and all the new shit in it. <laughs> and I really didn't want any sand in my tent. <laughs> but, uh, well, I walk over, the, like, I don't know, middle of the night, and uh, I see two feet laying out of my tent and all kinds of sand and all over the inside of my tent. Wait a minute. I would say that the most, like, the memorable story that I could remember, and this could probably answer two questions, it had to be the rat. Which one? I had a lot of good memories with Mike. He's a good buddy. Anything funny pop in the head when you think of him? I remember one time I went camping and uh, I passed out in a uh, hammock. And uh, Mike Rush and Mike Haley came up and uh, wanted to see how far they could swing me. <laughs> yeah, it went around for a while. It was a good time though. That's one good memory. There's many more. A memory would have to be the time that he came over to my sister and brother-in-law's house and we watched the national title Gators game together. There's lots of stories, but the, you know, the moments of him always taking care of me. Those are the ones that always stick out in my head of always getting myself in a little bit of too much trouble and him saving the day with me. He's carried me quite a few times over his shoulders. <laughs> Passed out drunk, yeah. Not good. Like, Mike! What the fuck are you doing? Uh, you're in my you're in my tent. I told you to stay the hell out of my tent. It's a new tent, and he didn't move. So I I, I kind of kicked him a little bit. He still didn't move. So I took him by the feet and I drug him back out into the sand. Sometime around this point, I, I mean, I was I was really mad. Uh, probably as mad as I've ever been at the kid. And um, he uh, he gets back up and he looks at me with his face like what? Like, you know, it's just kind of sway there. I always remember Mike with, you know, uh, him smiling and, uh, and that laugh of his that he always had that me and him always had that really good bond of, you know, just talking, life, and everything like that. And Mike, Mike always had that trust with Mike. A lot of few people that I always met in my life and around here in Florida, me and Mike, and we're, you know, we were, we were good people together.